training little furball here. Try get the little thing just a bit stronger as we try and complete the game. We'll be trying to complete the story mode playthrough. That way we could get our Violet Trainer Pokey Gal here into getting the new legendaries Sushi in and this other grass legendary which is from Pokemon Unova to Pokemon Black and White. So there's two of these legendaries that got released on Pokemon Day. My Pokemon Scarlet trainer has them, but just not my Violet. Sadly, I haven't completed the story mode on my Violet game yet, so that's what we're doing. I traded some of my strong mom from Scarlet to Lend to my Violet trainer for now. I'll trade them right back once I complete story mode, but that should help us a bit. And I still battle NPCs here and there, so Furball, Pokegal starter Pokemon could try and get a little strong. Alright, there's a trainer. Let's battle them. It would be mean to ignore a trainer eager for battle on the road. That Starly. Pretty cool even a grass Pokemon could take down a flying type if they know the right moves. Even though Fukoko's my favorite, Springato's pretty cute too. Keep getting distracted with all the items on the road. Alright, we're going a little faster riding on this legendary. Looks like another trainer eager for battle. Can't ignore her. If a trainer wants a battle, they expect a battle. So we might as well give it to them. It's time for you to get defeated! It is a cute ugly puff they have. They actually didn't do much damage. Let's try Scratch, see if a normal type move does just a little better. Yeah, that did a lot better. Um. We could just do Leaf Edge, finish it off. Alright, there we go. Really cute how Sprigato just roars. Really cute. A mighty little meow. Okay, we got through those NPCs. We could just heal up. This will also heal our Pokemon's PP moves, which is pretty much the energy a Pokemon has. If you run out of a Pokemon's PP, that means you're running out of energy to perform moves. Um, let's see where, how far we're getting on the map. Still a little ways away. It's flagged on the map, Compass 2, so we don't actually have to check the map. I was just... Battle me, for I am mighty. Battle me, for I am mighty. 
No, really? I'm mightier than you. I only just started my journey, and I have a Maridon from my Scarlet save file. I have two different trainers that I trade Pokemon over to. I'm mightier than you are. Don't know which move would be good best against Jiggly. We could try the grass move. Yeah, not very effective. It's actually been a while I've been playing Pokemon games. Hope I'm not getting too rusty. Think Scratch or Bite would do better. Oh, Scratch does horrible. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I am getting just a little rusty, but then again, little furball here. This Pokemon ain't even evolved. And they only know so many moves. Actually, I think we should just save our Pokemon's move energy. We should, we should switch out. Even though I know our Gator will not want to obey us. Let's see if they'll be up for obeying us today. Gator! Gatorade! That's probably what I should name you, but... Come on, do hyper voice for us, just once, please! Uh, my gator don't want to obey. If you don't perform the move hyper voice right now, I am nicknaming you Monty, and you'll be ashamed. Oh, began to nap? Guess they don't mind the nickname Monty? Wouldn't you be embarrassed if I named you after a Five Nights at Freddy's character? Come on. This is your job. Battle! Yeah, this escalated really quickly. I think our gator's growing tired of us relying on them. What's worse, Jigglypuff just fully healed themselves. Um, do we know Awakening? Only one, though. Wake up, this is no time to nap. Wakey! Okay, I swear, if they go to sleep one more time, that's gonna be bad. This video is so interesting, a bunch of those shinks are gathering to watch. Yes, my Pokemon's disobeying me. It's entertaining, right? Uh, yeah, I wasted that awakening. My gator just decided on their own free will to just go back to sleep, to keep napping. It's crazy. What if I... No, I don't want to terrestrialize, plus they're not even obeying. If nothing works, I might have to have my Springato Terra Max. Or... I think that's what it's called. Ter... No, terrestrialize. I'm so used to Pokemon Sword and Shield calling it Dynamaxing. Yeah, this battle's taking way longer than it should. Seems that threatening to nickname my gator Monty did not fix their behavior. Yeah, they're waking up and turning away now. They're disobeying in every possible way in this match. They must really not want to fight Jigglypuff. At all. This is like Pikachu at the start of Pokemon wanting to disobey Ash because he didn't like Ash. Yeah, Pokemon games definitely want you to be actually training your mon. They don't want... The story mode to be sp speed run. Speed running is nice, but it looks like 
This'll be a take a while. I usually just train Pokemon from beginning levels so I don't run into this issue. I don't feel like putting that much time into training some Pokemon. you have to fight and you can't even do that. Oh good. I guess I just needed to pick on my gator a little and they did their job. Alright. Finally got through that craziness. Just cause I didn't even want to battle with my spring gato. That was crazy. We should probably heal our- restore our move powers. At this point, completing story mode's gonna take a long time. That's not good. Okay, let's try and get through here. I was just running to try and tra train my Springato against NP. Simon. Cool. I kinda wanna catch this- Oh! Get away from me! It's chasing me. I kind of wanted to catch it, but I remember I don't actually need to be catching on with my Violet Trainer because I already have it for my Scarlet. It's kind of cool. Hi. I come in peace. Oh. Oh. Oh! I enraged it. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. Oh no, a spoink. I do not mean to run into you. I'm sorry. I can't catch any of you even though I kind of want to. Looks like this child wants to battle us. Alright, we brought down Sunkern. Alright, level 16. That's looking good. Now they brought out a Bonsley. Well, oh, that's doing good. Guess because they're a rock type, it's. Pretty effective, the grass moves. That works in our favor. It was annoying having to rely on our gator when Springato's moves weren't doing much damage. Alright, we beat the child. Oh, I don't want you to evolve though. I want you to stay in your regular form like Pikachu. Pikachu's never evolved and he's stuck with Ash, so I'm doing the same with you. So now we just have to keep getting through the battles until we find the really huge Pokemon that Avery wants us to battle for some herbs to help his doggy. Because his dog is kind of weak and we need to help him 
re have his Pokemon recover into full health. Okay, there's NPC. They look like they're right out of code vein for some reason. <laughs> Um, try by... Oh no, we might have to switch out. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch out. I don't want to lose Bringato in this. Oh boy, we have to rely on the disobedient Gator Boy. Our Pokemon who just doesn't want to listen to us. Because they lost respect for us. They don't respect our Violet Trainer because they're not strong enough. They only have one gym badge. So I could see why they'd want to disobey my Violet Trainer. Especially because my Scarlet Trainer, they were actually cool. They got all the badges, all of that. So they earned my Pokemon's respect in that game. But this one... We just totally lost their respect. No, oh, no, paralyzed. So they're par not just paralyzed, but they're disobedient. That's bad. But now they're not even paralyzed because they decided to take a nap instead. This has gone wrong. That crab just followed us all the way out here? Must really want us to catch them. But I already have that mon, and I don't want to catch each and every Pokedex mon on this trainer. I just don't want to do that, at least right now. That's not our goal. I want to make sure we have plenty of storage in our Pokemon boxes for our Violet Trainer. Just in case if the storage ever gets overfilled in Scarlet, we could carry on some Pokemon to our Violet Trainer. Um... This is feeling hopeless. Our Pokemon just don't want to obey. It's gonna be sad if most of our playthroughs are getting dragged out because my Pokemon doesn't even want to obey me. That's just crazy. Wake up. Do your job. Fight. Really? They woke up only to go back to sleep. It's almost like they were indecisive. They couldn't decide, do I want to wake up? Okay, I'm waking up. Wait, no, actually, I want to go to sleep. It's like, don't do that, make a decision. But it seems like if my Pokemon's trying to make a decision, they're really taking a long time at deciding. They sure are taking their time with that. Come on, it's just one move I'm asking you to perform. This is just crazy. Wow. This is gonna take forever at this rate. At least as I'm doing this, I'm training Pokemon on my other switch to Pokemon Scarlet. I'm actually leveling up, getting through the game, making progress. With this one, it's like the slowest progress because my Pokemon don't want to obey my Violet Trainer. This is just not right. This is wrong. You need to obey me. I'm your Pokemon trainer. I'm supposed to be training you. And since I'm supposed to be training you, you ought to be, well, taught to fight. And that's what I'm doing. I'm teaching you. You need to do your hyper voice. You know how to do that. Can't you just do it? Listen. Pokemon is just messing with us. 
Is there a loathing around? Oh good. Thank you. It's like every time I start talking bad about my own Pokemon, or just tease them in a mean way, that's when they decide to actually attack. Thank you. This battle against this Code Vein character took long enough. Okay, that was just crazy. That was madness. Not sure where that spot was. But there is a gym up ahead. Oh, there it is! You see the little little crabs? Well, there is a great big crab we have to go up to its actual quest. Okay, let's also heal our... Starter. I'm not gonna bother healing my croc. They don't deserve a potion. They've been misbehaving so much. It's unbelievable. 